Hello friends, welcome to Dari Marayana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about safety seal overhead crane. So let's discuss. We have know that there are so many machinery and personal accidents reported on marine vessel due to failure of cranes. So the most common cause of this malfunction are this accidents are malfunction of safety trip and cutout, a deterioration of wire ropes and badly worn out brake lining etc. So maintenance of cranes especially engine room crane are totally neglected in most ships. So for avoiding such accidents, regular maintenance and scheduled should be set up for all cranes working in marine vessel. All cranes should be tested and certified by shore based competent authority. So these are the conditions. So one any one of the marine engineer on board ship along with electrical officer must be responsible for maintenance and records of the crane. So any marine engineer, any duty officer and the electrical officer must be responsible for maintenance and records of the crane and we have to follow the safety trips or cutouts to, and parts to be periodically inspected. These are the lifting limit switch, lowering limit switch, forward travel limit switch, aft travel limit switch, port side travel limit switch, starboard side travel limit switch. These are the limit switch. Limit switch should be tested electrically and mechanically. We understand lifting, lowering, forward, aft, port side, starboard. These six Limit switches should be tested electrically and mechanically. Then, most neglected part is the gearing. We have to make sure that lube oil is present in sufficient quality quantity in the gear system. And after one year, we should be drain it completely and use a new one. Replace it and use renew it. Use a new one. And brakes are very important as cranes are concerned because in case of power failure, brakes prevent the load on the hook to come down because of gravity. So. The brake lining is to be checked for wear and must be within the allowable limit. So brakes are also very important as cranes are concerned. And all traveling tracks, the tracks with the cranes are moving, must be cleaned and greased with proper cupboard. So we must uh, give apply proper grease for the tracks that uh, the, tra the steering the safety cranes are traveling. Then wire ropes condition to be checked with proper strength and no strands to be broken and wire should be coated with grease cupboard. You know that crane operating crane wire their condition should be also checked with their whether they are having proper proper strength and roll and we have to coat with grease cupboard and we have to know the condition of shaft and pulley to be mounted and grease and the shaft the shaft condition and the pulley to be mounted and grease and hook must be free to rotate and be checked for any cracks by work hardening and safety lines to be functional properly so so the hooks must be free to rotate it should be rotated 360 degree and to be checked for any crack by work hardening and roll and we have to check the condition of drum where wire rope is bought. We have to check the, the condition of the drum and emergency stop location and uh, location operation of crane to be familiar for all ship staff. So the operation of that is emergency operation of the crane should be familiar for the all ship staff. These are the safety things that there are provided in the uh, for the safety of crane. Since most of the ship are sailing international port, so crane should be certified from the international authorities such as Lloyds or ABS. So, it, for every five, 5 years, it is recommended that to carry out load test at least once in 5 years. So, for our cranes, we need to done load test at least once in 5 years. All engineers on board must be familiar with the operation of the crane, it is mandatory and all uh, electrical contacts must be checked proper, periodically. We have to check the electrical contacts, uh, like I said, limit switches should be working uh, or not. Then we have to make, properly maintain the uh, records and we have to enter in the blind maintenance system. An inspection requirement of the engine room crane for any lifting gear is based on the requirement for dock worker safety, health and welfare organization 1990. So it's a regulation. So as per the we have to it, we, we should properly do it and we have to maintain a proper record of, uh, uh, as per the plant maintenance system and register and certificate for the crane shall be provided on the demand from the authorities. So within five years we should done the lotus and roll and proper uh, uh, maintenance system and we should record the readings and roll in a proper record should be maintained and documents of the crane to be carried on board our ships are crane manual we have to know the manual of the crane proper working the initial lotus certificate the, we have to know that initial the test the crane's initial lotus certificate then periodic test certificate like i mentioned lotus once we had done in the five years and lifting gear register and annual survey report annual survey report will, will be checking all and we will we will change the replace the lube oil in the uh, in the liver and all then crane is tested 1.5 times safe working load by using dynamometer 
So using annual testing, the crane is tested 1.5 times the safe parking load and one end of dynamometer is connected to the crane hook and the other end is connected to a strong point in slip pressure. This one end is connected to the uh, crane hook, it should be connected to the crane hook and the other to a strong point in the slip pressure. This load can be read from reading shown and we have to save separate test certificate is required for wire slings. For wire slings in the crane, they, we, they are having separate certificates and that are used along with crane and annual inspection is carried out by ship staff in, in is recorded by in the and it should be recorded in the register. These are the safeties that can be seen in the safeties of crane. Thank you.